Hi, this is Sinead from Redfly Marketing. Welcome to the Redfly AdWords Tutorials Advanced Series, Part 8, How to Control Your Ad Position. In this video, we will discuss why you should take control of your ad position. This might sound surprising at first, but after using AdWords for a few months, you will come to realize that controlling your position and your bids is more important than your ad being listed first. You need to find the position and the bidding price that is most advantageous for you. Though the AdWords system decides your ad's position through your bid and CTR, you do have some control over this. The following are bidding strategies that can help you control your ad position. Avoid the first position. Evaluate premium listing. Maintain the minimum bid, no matter what it takes. Stay ahead of your direct competitors. Bid less and target better, and use bidding cycles. We suggest you avoid the first position because the first position in AdWords has the potential to lose you money. If your site doesn't convert well and your ad gains a lot of clicks because it appears first, it will start losing you money. If competition for the keyword is high, then the first position is going to be very expensive. The first position is more exposed to accidental clicks. You can aim for the lower ad positions by lowering your bids. You can also use the position preferences within AdWords to tell Google where you'd like your ad to appear. The system will then automatically try to lower your bid to move your ad down to your preferred position. A good strategy is to maintain places 2 through 4. This ensures your ads will appear on both the search network and the display network. Evaluate premium listing. Though Google doesn't refer to this ad space as a premium position themselves, these are ads that appear above the Google search results. If your ad has a high quality score and a high CPC bid, AdWords can reward you by placing your ad in one of these three premium positions above the search results. If your CTR grows at the same pace with your conversion rate, this can work in your favor. If your CTR grows faster than your conversion rate, it means the extra traffic you get by occupying a premium position is low targeted. It's important to evaluate whether these premium listings work for you or not. You should reduce your bid if they don't. Maintain the minimum bid. This strategy is helpful when it is possible to find good keywords that have less competition and you can enter the top four or three positions with the minimum bid. If you have the time, start hunting for these types of keywords and your effort will be rewarded. Stay ahead of your competitors. This strategy works when the bidding prices are low. If you risk entering a bidding war, you should switch to new, undiscovered keywords. Bid less and target better. AdWords rewards advertisers that write highly relevant ads and who find good and relevant keywords ahead of the ones that bid more and don't take targeting into consideration. Use bidding cycles. It can be advantageous to raise your bids during certain times of the day or week, the times when you know that your keyword gets more targeted traffic. Use the range of reports available in AdWords to determine what times are more profitable for you. After watching this video, you should be ready to move on to part 9 of the Redfly AdWords Tutorials Advanced Series, How to Write Killer AdWords Ads, where we outline some tips for writing great ads. Thanks for watching.